a freaking big one. Four, oh my down. gosh, dude, it's a giant. It's a five pounder. Mm, get you some of that. Woo! <laughs> five three, baby. Yeah. Hey guys, Spencer Sheffield here. Wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite techniques year round, 365 days on the water, and that is a drop shot. Obviously, you guys know I love this method of fishing. I just like it, it just catches them. It's a proven fish catcher. No matter where you go in the country, muddy water, clear water, shallow, deep, spawn, post spawn, winter, it just doesn't matter. I mean, you can catch them on a drop shot anywhere you go. I'm gonna talk to you about the setup and how, uh, what I like to use with it, how I like to fish it. So I'm gonna start off with the line first. This here is Yozuri Super Braid. Uh, this is 15 pound. Uh, I've used 10 a lot, but I actually like 15 a little better because you can control it a little better in the wind. 15 is just a little bit stiffer. Uh, it's still really super small in diameter, and it's just like the wind doesn't get a hold of it as bad. I can control that a little better. And I use a long leader, about a 10 to a 12 foot leader. I use Yozuri T7 8 pound fluorocarbon. Most of the time I use 8, sometimes I even use 6, like at Smith Lake where I finished second this year. I was using six pound Yozuri T7. This, this Yozuri T7 is super abrasive resistant fluorocarbon. So impressed with it. I've been using it for two years now. Absolutely best fluorocarbon I've ever used in my life. I'm just so impressed with it. Really handles big fish well. I could go on and on about the fluorocarbon, but Yozuri T7 eight pound. That's usually what I use most of the time. This is a Gamagatu size one drop shot split shot hook. It's what I use 90% of the time. It's not too overpowering for like a robo worm, smaller uh, drop shot baits, and it's just an all around great size hook. And I always nose hook with this hook, always. I'll take the bait and I literally just go right inside the nose and I come right back up to the tip without coming through. I'll take my finger every time and just push down till I feel the hook point. And then I'll just kind of pinch it back up like that. I never want that hook point sticking out like that or anything because it, it just, it doesn't come through wood as good. Now, if I'm up on a small mouth lake where you're literally just dropping down, nothing but sand, nothing but rock or anything, I'll take it and I literally just come right through like that because I'm not worried about hanging up. But anytime I'm fishing for large mouth, around brush, around grass, I go in just like that and I don't actually come through the back, I actually come up towards the nose and I just leave the hook point just barely in, just like that. Completely weedless, never hangs up, rarely ever, just works so well. Uh, Down to the weight, this is an arc, quarter ounce, always a quarter unless I'm in less than eight foot of water, I'll use a 3 16 and I like the bell. Not a cylinder, it's not a round ball, it's just best of both worlds in my opinion. It's good for grass, good for rock. The weight rarely ever hangs up. It goes through the wind really good. Uh, the cylinder sometimes you'll go to make a cast and they'll just catch the wind. They'll go to helicopter really bad. If the wind's blowing really bad and I'm fishing out deeper in 15, I'll use a, a, a 5 16 arc tungsten weight. Rod's a huge part of being successful though with a drop shot. This is a Phoenix M1. It is a 7.2 medium. It's so versatile. I, I throw little swim baits on it. I throw wacky worms on it. Uh, any finesse technique that you need a spinning rod for, basically this Phoenix M1 is is the rod for it. It, it makes this drop throwing a drop shot, throwing finesse baits fun. I just absolutely love holding this rod in my hand all day. It feels so good. It's so sensitive the way that this design is where there's no cork down here on the end of it. So sensitive. I mean, you literally just feel them breathe on it. This Phoenix M1 is definitely the deal. Phoenix M1 7.2 medium. It's an extra fast tip. It's got such a good bend. You can really fight them fish around a boat. Keeps them from coming off, pulling the hook out. That's the one we were looking for, son. That's a four. Four pounds, four ounces. That's it right there. Hmm. Dial ballistic. The only reel I use on my drop shot stuff. So smooth, the drag, it peels so easy. These dial ballistics are just flawless. The baits I use, there's really only three baits I use. That's either Zoom Super Fluke Junior. I'm gonna use that for spotted bass for a small mouth 99% of the time. If large mouth are schooling on bait, a lot of times I'll go the Zoom Super Fluke for them. 
if you if you're fishing for smallmouth or big spots most of the time it's always going to be a zoom super fluke junior for me because basically any lake that's got really big spots and it's got blueback carrying and a zoom super fluke junior looks just like them if i'm fishing for uh, spots mainly uh, say on a table rock or something the bite's pretty tough a lot of times although this half shell I uh, rarely ever use it for largemouth, just for spotted bass. But most of the time for largemouth, and I use the six inch robo worm, and I just use a straight tail. I don't ever get anything fancy with it. For largemouth, there, there's not but two colors, morning dawn or margarita mutilator. I know there's a lot of other colors out there that you can really catch them on that's really good, but from what I found, and as much as I throw a drop shot, them are the only two colors you will ever need for largemouth fishing. Maybe the deal, dude. Drop shot out here like this. Dude, I can do this right here. I'm just telling you. Everybody knows. They'll buy the drop shot and I can see your butt. We in business. Stay on you big headed sucker. When the big females are out here. That's where they're at. Boom! That's a full pounder. Four pound, 13 ounces. Booyah, 413, sir. 413, guys, on a drop shot, doing what I love. Y'all know that. That fish was in 18 foot of water, dude. You know the only four baits I use drop shotting, guys? Either Zoom Super Fluke Junior, a half shell, Strike King half shell, or six inch Robo Worm. Drop shot's been good to me. Nearly all the top tens I've made in the last two years has been strictly on a drop shot. Hopefully that helps you out. You can try this at, at a lake that is near you or a lake that you fish and uh, you'll be able to catch more fish, so.